What do you think is going on with this, uh, what people call mental health crisis with the youth? What, what's going on there and what, what solution would you have to it if you could think of anything? You know, like I said, we, we live in a society that is extreme. It is fostering broken attachment, insecure attachment styles, which is the adaptation to an extreme environment where nobody is going to care for you. And the research shows about an estimated 65% of Generation Z now has attachment issues. Most of them have never seen a functioning family system. Most of them don't know what it's like to have somebody help them protect them care for them they don't have safety nets right we have the government trying to step in and protect us which nobody ever really thinks is actually going to work it's humans caring for other humans that is necessary but now every human is petrified instead we have elaborate uh, elaborate ruses by people stepping in right red pill communities radical feminist circles major various political movements i will save you because the other side is evil and they want to eat you so we will do this to attack them and it never is going to work. We have a world where people are governed by fear and they do not know how to build loving systems. Now, of course, that's going to lead to overwhelming chronic anxiety, which we would call generalized anxiety disorder. Of course, as, as you worry, 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 and you spend every moment of every day afraid and it's still not enough, bad things keep happening. Of course, you are going to plunge into depression, especially with your serotonin levels crushingly low because you don't have engaged romantic or, or friendship relationships where you can actually talk and get your serotonin that way. Uh, of course, you are going to have panic attacks. Of course, your brain is going to find ways to escape from the pressure and the pain, such as shutting off your prefrontal cortex, the center of your brain that takes about judge about consequences and judgment, and then going into a manic state where you simply crave dopamine to try to bring your nervous system down and manage the cortisol. Of course, you're going to escape into drugs. Of course, you're going to escape into all kinds of fantasy things. Of course, you're going to look for an AI girlfriend or look for the massive levels of Pornhub and Tinder and everything that's out there because you don't think that there's anything better. Of course your mental health is going to be obliterated by the system that we currently live in I, I look at people say why do you think we're having a mental health problem my question is why wouldn't we be having a mental health problem so what you're saying is that the, the issue is more on a societal level than it's just that so what, what exactly are we lacking like if, if you had to pick one thing one ingredient that you could give to all young people that would make that would almost fix this what would it be would it be connection Think of it this way. Humans are not meant to operate as a lone wolf living in a hostile forest where nobody is ever going to help you and where things are prowling around to eat you and where you have to scrounge for every meal and you have to hope that a storm doesn't come and, and drown you or lightning doesn't strike you or a bigger predator doesn't eat you. Humans are not meant to operate this way. I look at the work of Franz de Waal and love uh, power and sex among the apes was a fantastic book and in it he talks about how the only time chimpanzees really are at their most optimal is when there is one loving benevolent leader at the top who is sympathetic and caring for the others and nurtures them and resolves disputes but sets a clear code for the others to follow not legalist code not technically follow this but a code that means don't do this do this instead care for each other right i'm thinking of ancient babylon hammurabi's code hammurabi for people at the home who don't know hammurabi was a uh, leader who inscribed his code of laws on pillars throughout the city in various languages so if you wanted to live in his city you simply followed his code and if you followed his code you would be a welcome citizen and safe and cared for and everybody was protected under his law right that was the that was the idea of the Hammurabi's code that is what I think that we're lacking number one is clear leadership at the top of people who will provide real moral care and, and nurturing for people, not this legalist, what can I get away with? You can't prove I did anything garbage, but real leadership at the top from that. And then a flow down from that where people care for each other as well. And people build up and down the hierarchy and parallel across with their peers, real relationships that are based on clear expectations and not transactional relationships, but relationships based on, I will care for you and you will care for me. And we'll be very clear about what that means and we'll take care of each other. And that's called secure attachment. 
That's called secure attachment. Until we build that within our families, within our friendship networks, our communities, our religious groups, our political structures, until we build that in, society will be just as broken and chaotic as it is now. That's built into our DNA.